Hi, welcome my friend in my channel. We are coming back with some microbiological lecture starting from history. Yesterday we started the lecture, first lecture, and we will continue this type of study from basic microbiology to upgrade molecular biology and other field like virus and virus microbiology, virus genetics, bacteria, bacterial genetics and use of the bacteria. Now we start from the microbiology just like yesterday we understand actual meaning of the microbiology and a little about the historical backgrounds. The historical background is still continue the Anthony van Leeuwenhoek the first uh, scientist who understand the minute organisms, living organism that is responsible for the different type of the disease causing in the animals, humans and other plant organisms and these microorganisms we cannot visualize uh, without any microscopes. So they can use a single lens microscope own design, he already designed this such type of microorganisms, visualizations, microscopes in year 1632 to he was at that times after then louis foster the very scientist the renowned name of this scientist pasture developed so many hypotheses and so many things in the microbiology pasteurization process you know pasteurization the milk is the pasteurized what we are generally using in the city uh, small town area where the milk is not fresh milk they are pasteurized the process of pasteurization i will tell you how they can make this type of so microorganisms cannot grow in such type of uh, things they kill the microorganisms by temperature variation. There is a lot of temperature variation. Firstly, they get heat up to 63 degrees, 65 degree for 30 minutes. Then again, uh, go for the 75 degree up to 15 seconds and then suddenly cool down. So in this temperature and suddenly cool down, there is a time at which microorganisms are not capable to multiply and they will die there. Second is the Robert Coase. Robert Coase is the pioneer of medical microbiology. What the, there is a lot of branches in microbiology like the medical microbiology, general microbiology, agriculture microbiology, food microbiology, industrial microbiology and so we need to understand one by one what is the importance. So first, uh, they need to understand general microbiology, Louis Pasteur and Anthony Vaughan, the microbes discovery and Robert Koch, they introduced the medical microbiology. That is the only the field of medicals, human disease causing microorganisms. He worked on the cholera, anthrax, tuberculosis type of bacteria who are responsible for causing such disease. They got Nobel Prize in 1905. This course postulate, they, they, they develop a theorem, this is called course postulate. What we need to understand later on, another scientist, Alexander Fleming, this scientist is the discovery of the medicines. First medicine was the penicillins. So you need to understand microbiology. So you go for the historical background also. Because if you understand the history of the microorganisms, microbes, then you more clear in this field. You understand after then the scientist name is Joseph Lister. Joseph Lister First, disinfectant prevent the surgical and infections from the looking pasture work. The pasture already identify and tell in the whole universe if the air, your microbes are present or the waters, everywhere the microbes are present. So, blister is developed if you go for the surgery, you need to be clean these instruments, these things what was using a was is using for the surgery this is the coast uh, this is lister postulate these things 1860 because most of microorganisms either present in the things what you are going for surgery so they cause the infections in the a human beings yeah anyone who are under in the surgery process so we need to pass to clean that thing yeah sterilize that thing the sterilization process is known as the things next Actual, what is the object to why we need to go for the study of microbiology? There is a lot of question in your brains is coming. So what is the object to why we need to go understand the microbiology? So provide the student the basic knowledge of microorganism. That is the either the fungi, bacteria, your virus, your protozoans. This are those microorganisms. What is the importance? We need to understand that 
one thing this is a one objective another objective is that the characterization of their medical importance agriculture importance food importance yeah importance for the human lives what is the animals importance the life of this microorganism so we need to understand the microorganism second is the importance of these microorganisms for me it is the aesthetic techniques but that means you need to be which organism is pathogenic which is not pathogenic so we need to be understand aesthetic conditions so we can clean we can hygienic make the hygienic conditions so these organisms not responsible for cause the disease provide the understanding of the antimicrobial uh, rules of the antibiotics developments how can you develop antibiotics from these organisms so you need to understand their basic physiology their genetics their physiology how they cause the disease so how can you stop their causing process so you need to understand their basic uh, physiology of this microorganisms this is the one of the one of the most important things another is that the another object to also the basic immunological principles because immune system how they respond these organisms so you need to understand immunology of the our cells and the reaction between microorganism with immune cells this is the one of the best things you need to understand today also immunological methods to how to understand how to read and other thing immunological disorder if the microorganism bacteria is more secretion of their toxins so their over expression of the toxins is causing the disturbance a dysregulation of the immunological things most of the bacteria just like the dipteroid yeah typhoid yeah influenza so many bacteria is causing such type of disease in our system so you need to understand their basic physiology because so many things also what is the cares how many type of the generally i am told you microorganisms have the different types virus fungi so fung for study of fungus is called the mycology for study of bacteria we call it the bacteriology study of virus virology immunology if you understand the immune cell study the immunology parasite any parasite like parasite you need to understand the parasitology general microbiology include all these branches is called as the general microbiology so this is a very simple way i am telling all these things later on we will go in the deep understand because i am i am i want to include in this undergraduate students yeah 12th standard student yeah junior level students who are understand what is the microorganism microbes in the our lives how many type of the organisms in present in our lives because organisms are very small so we cannot see without any microscopes these are also called germs generally you are watching the tv uh, any other that is germs in your hand you need to clean you clean wash the hands so these are also called a germs just like a cell microorganism cells so in the whole universe in the earth there is a present of the bacteria bacteria is responsible for the development of the this earth systems in our our whole body is controlled yeah maybe formed by this organism i already told when the uh, when the prehistoric era was started living things the bacteria and viruses and rna molecule dna molecules combines there, there is a theory living theory where they can include these uh, bacteria and microorganisms the bacteria has the chloroplast other has the uh, mitochondria like plasmids so they can combines they form the mitochondria like structure where the plasm where the genomic structure is presented so they start functioning for energy production after then the millions of year after then the microbes a single cell evolve by the this type of process first they come with the dna rna virus like structure when they come together they form the bacteria after bacteria they becomes the formation of the algae protozoa once fungi another things they are more than 5 into 10 keep or 13 million year ago bacteria present in the universe in this uh, humans have initial response our body system has more than 90% of microbes in our body cells either in the mouth nose skin everywhere the are they are present in our they are helping our physiological process if you can stop this if we can clean this microorganism then our system will be stopped 
so we need to understand the importance of these microorganisms and harmful effect i will tell you later first we are just understand basics of the microorganisms so we understand what is the importance classification and now we are going to understand the classification of microorganism there is a three type of things in the bacteria three domains one is the bacteria other is archaea there is a eukarya eukarya the protista fungi plant and animals we need we do not need to understand this, this we are going to this only with these understanding we need to study these things first then we go by fungi study uh, we are not going to understand plant and animals so this is the basic things we need to understand three domains of the human beings here animals in this universe so there is a lot of things also we go for the understandings what is the naming of these things? If you we go understand uh, basic nomenclature of these bacterial things is the naming of the classification of the bacteria. You know that Carlos Linus 1735 they established nomenclature systems where the each organism had two names. One is genus, one is the species. Italic systems. We will go and next chapter we will understand this process also if you like my chapter you will definitely thank you so much for watching my video hope you understand thank you please subscribe my channel